Hi, welcome to a new video on the series How to Teach English with Muller Mashov. I have just recorded an older version of Mashov, but don't worry, even though the platform looks a little bit different, in fact, the idea is the same. I have given pupils a reading comprehension and listening comprehension text and I can notice that there have been 18 attempts, that is to say 18 pupils have submitted this uh, quiz. So I'm going to check it. To check it I press check attempts and then I show, uh, click on show report so that I can see the names of the pupils who have already handed in. Notice that I have cover the names of the pupils so as to protect their privacy. Here you see the different grades that pupils got. Sometimes you can see A grade and AV, which means that the answer was correct, and X, which means that the answer was not correct, and in some places you can see not graded yet. Not graded yet means that you have to grade that question manually. In multiple choice questions, for example, you can set uh, the right answers and the system will automatically grade the question whether and um, if the student chose the right answer the student will get the points but if the student did not choose the right answer this student will not get the grade obviously i have not shown here the reading comprehension text because of copyright issues but you know that you can either upload the text on the quiz or place a link to a text that you can have in the internet or perhaps on a Google document. Here is a, an, a question that a student has answered and I have written a comment so that the student knows uh, what I have to say about it. Points. If a question is given a certain mark, six points, you can give up to six points when you correct, when you check the answer manually. The system will provide you and the pupil with feedback. The pupil will see that his answer is not correct. And if you provide the student with the feedback and the correct answer, this student will see the correct answer right away. Notice that the comments and the answers given by the students are written online using Moodle's text editor. I stress again, the moment you and your students learn to use Moodle's editor, they will be able to do a lot of things with, with the Moodle. When you finish correcting the grades, you will be able to transfer the grades from Mashov from Moodle Mashov to the Mashov platform. Notice here that there are a few uh, questions where there is a recording because you can upload a link to a recorded text or even record yourself. I suggest you play a, a place a recording somewhere else and then put it on the exam as a link. So how do you transfer the grades from Moodle Mashov to Moodle. You click on Yevutsi Unimi Moodle, you click there, and you will get the names of the exams that you gave on Moodle. You will pick the one that you want, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time, and goodbye.